So, I doubt any of you guys noticed, but Porgs were sort of aggressively marketed. There have been a lot of Porgs available in stores, and I don't know if this is going to continue with subsequent Star Wars films, or if this was like a unique moment in time when they're marketing Episode 8. Maybe there will be Porgs in Episode 9, just like kicking around the Falcon, or maybe there won't, and the Porgs are just going to be gone after this. And when they phase out their current crop of Porgs from the stores, you won't be able to get a Porg anymore. Maybe the Porg bubble is going to pop. Maybe now is the time to get a Porg. Problem is, like I said, there are so many available right now with wildly different shapes and gimmicks. So just for research purposes, I decided to get every Porg in the world. And I figured maybe I could help some of you guys if you're trying to decide what Porg to get. So today I am going to rate every Porg ever based on a combination of factors to decide which Porgs are worthy of love. Let's get into it. Target Porg. Our first Porg is super off model. It's bullet shaped, more dog-like than bird-like, doesn't evoke any of the texture of an actual Porg, maybe shaped like a football. You could, you could spiral it if you threw it. I'm not confident I would even know this was a Porg if I wasn't told it was so. But this was also one of the first ever Porgs available on the market and was my first Porg, which has got to count for something. Seven out of 10, highly collectible Funko Porg. This Porg came in two different colors because if Funko can't get you to collect pop figures, they're gonna get you with something. It came in the brown and orange male Porg and the gray and much harder to find female Porg. And for the purposes of today's video, I will just be reviewing the male Porg because I am a misogynist. This Porg has a pleasing shape and a good color scheme. Also, some good squish factor, but it's not very fluffy and it's too small to be able to hug effectively. Six out of 10, Target Porg number two. This Porg came out just a few months after the first Target Porg and it looks mostly the same, but like just different enough to confuse and unnerve you. Like waking up to everything in your house shifted an inch to the right, your family at breakfast but something unfamiliar behind their eyes. This Porg exists only to gaslight me. Three out of 10, Egg Porg. I don't know why this Porg looks like this. Honestly, so many of these plush Porgs look so little like the ones in the movies that I keep finding myself forgetting what the movie Porgs even look like. This Porg is so excessively squishy, like almost in an unnerving way, almost like if someone took a nylon stocking and filled it with mattress foam. Six out of 10. <sighs> Giant Porg. Huge, gracious, powerful. This Porg runs my house. This Porg is the boss of me. 11 out of 10. Disney Store Porg. You can find a display with a hundred of these Porgs and no two will look the same. This Porg looks like a Chihuahua that somebody got from a backyard breeder and like you can tell that it's been bred too small or that there was some inbreeding at some point in the family tree and its eyes are just like popping out of its face. You carry this Porg around in your handbag and you're like, this is my teacup Porg. Her name is Bella and she's super well trained. The Porg like shakes all the time and yells a lot. Anyway, it's a creatively misshapen face and I respect that. Seven out of 10, backpack Porg. Sometimes you just wanna wear something fashionable and then ruin it by accessorizing with an oversized stuffed animal strapped to your back. This is definitely one of the most off-model Porgs. He's got a very pronounced frown, he's wearable, and he can hide all my secrets. Nine out of 10, walking Porg. <laughs> Coming, coming right toward me. This Porg has quite small, beady little eyes. I don't know how I feel about it that the Porg that looks most like it's planning something is the only one capable of chasing me. Four out of 10, talking Porg. Fluffy, delightful. Also, if you squeeze his like neck area, his mouth opens and closes involuntarily. Eight out of 10, Build-A-Bear Workshop Porg. He's small, he's convenient. This is sold as a bear accessory, so it comes pre-stuffed. And like, if I am getting a Porg at Build-A-Bear Workshop, I darn well better be crafting that Porg with my bare hands. I wanna be weaving the fibers that I make this Porg from. A little disappointing. Five out of 10, Porg on board. This is the Porg that you can hang in your car window. It has a weird face and even less neck than most Porgs, which is saying something. It's functional. It helps me to force everybody to know that I like Porgs. Eight out of 10, me as a Porg, fully movie accurate. 
10 out of 10. Chinese Porg. This Porg straight up looks like Patton Oswalt. And that is a compliment to both of them. 8.5 out of 10. Tiny Keychain Porg. This Porg came in a souvenir mug because it likes to be doused in boiling water. This Porg lives dangerously. 7 out of 10. Porg that looks like Tiny Keychain Porg, but is slightly bigger. This Porg looks like a sad clown. I don't even know where this one came from. They're just finding their own way in now. I think Porgs are an invasive species. I can't hang this one off of things. 6 out of 10. Animatronic Porg. More and more these days, we have readily available amazing technology. What you could once only experience in a state-of-the-art theme park attraction, you can now enjoy in the comfort of your own home. Watch as this toy comes to life before your eyes with fully articulated robotic movement. <coughs> 10 out of 10. Hugo. Hugo is a miserable excuse for a porg that fails in every conceivable way. Hugo is a walking avocado with a face only a mother could love. His dream is to play the trombone one day in a marching band which is a foolish dream. Porks can't play the trombone. Their mouths and flippers just aren't built for it. Hugo couldn't porg his way out of a paper bag. Zero out of 10. Sega Claw Machine Porg. This porg looks like a variation of the target porg pattern, but the texture of it and the darkness of its weird eyes make it so much more like a porg in the movie. This porg specifically looks like that shot in the movie where it's like an establishing shot and there's a porg sitting in the grass and it's going like this. 9 out of 10. Traumatized Porg. I'm pretty sure this is the Porg in the movie that watched Chewbacca eat its family, and his face is just like this now. This Porg is really round and fluffy and pretty on model, and he has really big eyes. Eyes that have seen things. 8 out of 10. So, that's all the Porgs. Thanks for watching, everybody. So many good Porgs. I'd like to thank the Los Angeles Porg Archives for loaning me all these Porgs for my video. I don't own them all myself. That would be excessive and sad.